Uh, so hi, Facebook Live. Say hi, everybody. Hi. hi. <laughs>so excited to be here today. We have this ridiculous microphone that we're excited to share because we are streaming uh, Facebook Live. You can't have a Facebook Live topic without streaming to Facebook Live. So I hope all of you appreciate this microphone because it is all about branding today and how to use live content to brand. What better way, Josh, than to have a microphone with my dad's mic flag on it? Exactly. Branding's <laughs> important. Also, you're probably wondering how in the world does a wireless microphone get to the iPhone? It doesn't. There's a cord right here that's attached, so it's kind of behind the curtain. One of the things that you'll realize is that you can do all kinds of fun stuff, uh, branding and then have them cheats that still work really well with your Facebook Live. So we wanted to start off with just a show of hands. How many of you have gone live before? We'd like to kind of know who's in the audience. Awesome, okay, so a handful of you have gone live. How many of you go live on Facebook consistently? <laughs> One hand. Okay, good. That's perfect. Let's go back. Uh, so we do have our little social media channels. You can't have a, a social media talk without just plugging in our social media channels. But that's just so you guys can stalk us and figure out what we're doing sometimes because we're always trying to experiment and just have fun with it. A lot of today's talk is just to have fun and kind of regenerate that interest in social media. It's one of those things, you know, uh, we talk about the chore aspect. Of, of this and Sarah clearly has like 17,000 different social media channels that she uses she activates she monitors I have like four I have four but we were saying before I go live uh, for real news PR more than any other employee does so you don't have to be engaged in every single one uh, but the important thing is that the ones that you are engaged with that you focus on those the chore aspect can get to where you feel like it's a burden it's a beat down there's seven different channels there's Facebook there's Twitter there's Instagram, there's LinkedIn, there's Gchat, there's Google, whatever it is, Google Plus, there's tons, Snapchat, there's tons of different social media outlets that you can tap into. Um, you don't have to tap into all of them. That's not something you have to do. And it shouldn't feel like a chore. Uh, that's one of the things that we're going to talk about here coming, going forward. So here's the first thing we're going to be doing is talking about how to go Facebook Live. And so we go live all the time. Josh, my dad built out an entire network dedicated to live broadcasts because my dad believed that, hey, we get our clients on the news with Real News PR, but what if they had their own show? So we built our, our own studios to help our clients achieve going Facebook Live. And Josh is one of those that will be consistently streaming with our clients, and he has his own show to demonstrate what live capabilities look like. And so you can look and see some of the live uh, broadcasts that we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Our team has a lot of fun with it. Uh, we have our own dedicated social media reporter that goes out to interview new style, which is what my dad's always believed is like, hey, you know, you can get in the media, but you are the media. So our team believes in this so much that we've dedicated an entire department to it and our staff to be able to stream and go Facebook Live and take it a step further than just a traditional social media post. So we're gonna talk about how social media can sometimes feel like a chore. And I was one of those that I was going constantly trying to figure out what's the new thing to do with social media a couple years ago. Uh, there was blog posting, there's these images, infographics, posting, 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 posting. And then when Facebook Live came out, we're like, wait, so we could just hit record and all of a sudden we've got all the content there. And it was a little riff, uh, shaky in the beginning. Uh, sometimes the broadcast would get interrupted. Sometimes the sound wouldn't work. My dad had a radio show at that time and I was trying to figure out the way where, okay, so dad's going live terrestrial, but how many people are really listening to him and how do we have that engagement? And so I started consistently going live using Facebook with his radio broadcast, and he was having interaction of all those listeners that day. Jeff Curley Show fans, Facebook Live, we're so excited because I think this is the most we've had ever in the studio today at fun time. Let's take it for you. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Good, so excited. It's like, this is so cool to be able to interact and talk with him back and forth on his Facebook Live for his own show, and that's how our digital broadcast uh, was born. But Josh, let's talk a little bit more and um, how, how the mindset is important with going Facebook Live, because 
here's the deal, guys. If you go to Facebook Live and you feel like it's a chore, that's a party nobody wants to go to. Who's gonna join your Facebook or your Instagram Live if you don't even wanna be there? So I think the mindset is important. And look around your company and your business and determine, hey, if there's somebody who's really passionate, this could be the gift that you're giving them to be the voice for your company. They're already doing it, they enjoy it. And that way you can delegate it to somebody who, who really enjoys it. And maybe will it re-energize you to go live? Um, Josh, do you have anything to add just about the mindset of going yeah, Facebook Live? Yeah, when it comes to the mindset of it, you know, you wouldn't hire an accountant that didn't like to do math. You wouldn't hire an HR person who hate talking to people. Uh, so when you're finding someone who does social media, Sarah's right. Find the person who's already doing it now in your company. Maybe not for your company, but they're very active on their own. And then you can bring them into the fold and go, hey, how can we develop a marketing strategy or a program uh, involving social media? And that kind of helps tap that person in to something they're already doing in the beginning anyway sometimes going live could hurt you if you're not prepared if you're not excited if you sound or you come off as being negative and so it's important to have someone there who's able to help you with that process the different platforms and who's on that platform is this a platform that you as a company you as a business owner you as a personal brand want to invest in I love that everybody's taking a picture please take pictures of this graphic I can email this out I just did a little Google search on the different uh, platforms but uh, how many of you have a Pinterest we'll just kind of walk through and it's nice to kind of have a show of hands Pinterest use it consistently as far as I know Pinterest doesn't have live yet but I'm not one to say that Pinterest won't have a live aspect at some point because it looks like several of these social platforms are meant to be social and have that instant gratification of going live so I'm really interested to see if Pinterest at some point could have some crafting and different interesting things for live but as of yet they do not um, Twitter does not have a live aspect though we figured out a way you that go live through you go live through um, Periscope, Periscope. Periscope will let you go live on Twitter. So how many of you use the Twitter? The Twitter. The Twitter. Some of you, do you tweet consistently? A handful. <laughs> um, Facebook. So we had a huge gush of hands that said, yes, I've been going Facebook. And the primary uh, talks that we've been giving are even how to build a Facebook page. So I love that this audience has one. Do you have a personal or your business? How many of you have a business page? Amazing. So I really highly encourage you guys to build that page and get that going, but test things out with your personal brand just to kind of get things going with Facebook Live. But if anybody needs help just creating a business page, we'll absolutely for free just walk you through how to yeah. how to create a page. So I wanna make sure that everything that we demonstrate today, you feel empowered that you're able to build it, get it going, get it started. I think the important thing, the reason why we're focusing more on Facebook right now, if you look down at the bottom, you see 70 million, you see 200, you know, but then 1.5 billion. So if you're not gonna say, hey, you know what, I'm not gonna be active on all of those. I'm not gonna be on Instagram or Google or LinkedIn or any of those, but Facebook has the most users. Uh, and so that is the, if you're gonna focus on one, that's the one that you can tend to focus on. You know, we kind of talk about the importance, Twitter's really good for in the moment, like live tweeting or sending out a message. Uh, LinkedIn is great for B2B, uh, finding people who are connected connecting with your industry, helping people that are in your kind of uh, group around you. Uh, Instagram is great for photos and those kind of things. Something that I can look at for five seconds and then scroll on. Whereas Facebook kind of combines all of those into one. Uh, so that's why when, when I go live for the show on, that I, I do, I go live on Facebook, I go live on YouTube, and I go live on Twitter all simultaneously. Uh, so it's one of those kind of deals that we're able to push all of those through. But the one that we actually monitor is Facebook. Uh, because it has the most on there and we can actually see in real time numbers and quotes and those kind of things. So that's the important reason why I think we tend to focus more on Facebook. It's only because it really dominates the users per month. And Instagram is the photo giant. They've moved into in Instagram TV, which is fascinating to me. I'm so excited about Instagram TV. Um, and so What's interesting about the relationship between Instagram and Facebook is that they're one and the same. They own each other. Has anybody heard that? Yeah. So as soon as Facebook came out with Facebook Live, we were just counting down the seconds for Instagram to go Instagram Live. But I don't go Instagram Live as often. I don't know why that is. Does anybody go Instagram Live versus Facebook Live? You do? What's your, um, just give us a little feedback. What's your user experience between the two? What do you prefer? You're just always on Instagram. Sorry. It's what you like to do. And so your audience is there. You're living there. Yeah, exactly. It's a personal page. But should you do a business page as well? 
I think it's very beneficial to have your brand on anything and everything. That's my own personal opinion. I don't care if you have one post on there, just think about the user experience of somebody coming to visit you and then tagging you or have that extra contact form. Um, they're taking pictures at your business, so on and so forth. It may be less about just the business itself and the people that are visiting the business and that they're taking pictures and tagging you and so on and so forth. And there's great content, if I get on my soapbox, of you know posting for your business is people that are already tagging and sharing and excited about you and what your business has to offer. And, and just you can control the brand as well. So I, when I say you always go through and, buy and get as many handles as you can for your company just to keep someone else from coming in and getting that handle and then they could in a way represent your business and you don't want that, that, that to have happen to you. So we had a great debate in the office yesterday. It, it does, you can save all of your broadcasts just like you do with a Facebook Live and then upload it to Instagram TV. And so Instagram TV is also built inside the Instagram platform. For those of you that don't know Instagram, we can walk through Instagram. Um, we were gonna focus on Facebook today, but it sounds like a lot of you know Instagram, which is awesome. Um, so you can save that broadcast and upload at least 10 minutes of it to your, your live or to your Instagram TV and then there's where your, your broadcast can live. Does that make sense? Um, Okay, here we are, we got a, a little, okay, so we absolutely love live aspect. And so Josh, I wanna walk through a little bit more about, you came from radio. Yep. You came from the microphone and people not looking at you. How did it feel to go live for the first time? Cause I remember I told Josh, I said, hey, so we're gonna go live. And you're like, but do we have to? Can I call you up? Yeah. So, <laughs> I feel yeah. like it's going to be like, uh, you know, so, so was, they're going to be watching me. Yes, they're going to be watching you, but they listen to you all the time. I mean, it's been 10 years of radio and now you have interaction. And I was trying to sell him on the idea and he's like, but they're watching. Yeah. Well, I, I, there's that old saying, you know, you have the face for radio. Uh, and so I kind of got used to being behind a microphone. I was on uh, Mix, Now, Edge, and Star for, like I said, over 13 years, all those different radio stations uh, doing morning show radio. And they said at any given time, a quarter of a million people are tuned in. And that, I was totally fine with that aspect. Uh, but turning on a camera for some reason and putting it at my face was a little bit more off-putting uh, than I was used to. Uh, so it took me, you know, I, I was took me a while to get used to it. Uh, but I eventually came around, and now it's just second nature. Uh, the mic comes on, you know, the camera comes on, and I sh and I go off like I would any other day. And so, you know, you're going to have that hesitancy of I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to goof up. Everyone's going to see it. This is going to be embarrassing. I think that could be true. But the good part about going live, it could, it could be. This is to be honest. It could be true. But the good part about going live is that no one expects perfection. To me, when you go live, when you do a post or you do a video, I expect I expect good production, I expect all the grammar to be correct, all that kind of stuff. And if you don't, I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna correct everything. But when I go live, I've seen it, I've seen it. Uh, but when I go live on Facebook and I make a mistake or I say something or I kind of forget where I'm going, everyone understands that. They okay, you know what, this is a live thing that they're doing and they can appreciate in that in the moment. So it's one of those kind of, it kind of takes some of the fear away because you're not having to worry about being perfect, you're just trying to worry about what you want to say, how you want to say it, and how you want to promote your brand. And that's the big part about going on Facebook Live, is being genuine and being honest. And you know, I, I talk about like when I'm doing the show now, the lunch break show, every uh, 12 to one, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, check it out. Uh, we have a show that we do, uh, people there are now like, they're making fun of me in the comments for something that I said or a way that I said something, and I've never met these people before but they feel like they're connected to me in some way. And like, oh, it's just me and Josh having a good time. And so when you start going live on Facebook and interacting with people who could be you know, future customers or future people who are gonna be engaged with your products, it's a way of building a connection. And once you build a friendship, then you have a customer for life. And let's go back to the time invested. Remember when we had started off the, the talk talking about, gosh, we felt kind of bogged down, so many posts. This is like that instant, Facebook algorithm loves to go live. So it's gonna prioritize it in the newsfeed, all that time invested. Now you get that back. So you have the live viewers, and then there's the rebroadcast where if people are watching it, Facebook loves it and it's gonna prioritize it in the newsfeed. And then your work is done for the day. And don't even treat it like work, enjoy it. And so let's go to the next slide because we're gonna talk about live content ideas and please take pictures of this i want to be able to share everybody's live content we're about to go facebook live here in a second 
But here's some live content ideas that we have done um, with Real News PR and that I've been experimenting in. So interview someone. This is now taking the spotlight off of you and putting it on someone else. A lot less pressure there. Although, as you're interviewing someone, you're thinking as they're talking and sharing the spotlight, what's the next question I'm gonna ask? What's the purpose of this? Try to develop that relationship with someone that you would love to interview and just have a conversation with. People love to watch and be a little fly on the wall of a conversation. An office tour, a behind the scenes, we did this and it generated so much business for us, it was crazy. And we had just moved into a new office at the time. There were still boxes, but let me tell you, the interest level of a behind the scenes in an office tour is fascinating to people, they love it. And we were really surprised. We're like, you know, they wanna see the behind the scenes and then we treated it like behind the scenes and we're gonna go interview our staff. And so we kinda combined the two with our, our new office tour and that was a lot of fun. I mean, today that one keeps getting more and more engagement. So we'll go back in and comment and it's just a lot of fun. And you know, it's always fun to like, ha ha, surprise, open the door and hey, I'm gonna interview you with staff members and kinda make a game out of it. And so what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say? I don't know, it's Facebook Live. Um, so a Q and A is a lot of fun. Again, questions and answers for Format. So if you have an interview or you could even go straight live to your broadcast to your followers and ask them, hey, are there any questions? Ask them, you know, a couple questions before your broadcast and then start addressing live Q&A. You can preload the questions beforehand, but that gives you a nice little agenda there for your broadcast. Things that are just interesting that would be really uh, beneficial to your followers and, and things that are a question and answer format that would be fun for you to answer or things that you hear all the time that people are asking you. And so start to listen to what your customers are saying or asking you and kind of develop like what a little broadcast would look like or send them the broadcast that you had already made. Think about that for the future. Um, updates, roundups, updates of your business, updates of just anything to do with the community, of the chamber, of uh, you know updates of what had happened on a, an original broadcast and then you're sharing updates and follow-ups and so that will give them you know another follow-up tactic to be able to follow your brand with um, you know FAQs oops, series we um, with our podcast series that's a digital broadcast series and I think we can kind of break that down in a second yep. um, that just gives that continuing where your followers know to expect it and they're excited and they're following you. And now you have this little broadcast show that you're just going live and you're enjoying the time spent with your followers and they, they know, hey, every Wednesday, I'm gonna go to Sarah's page. And, and you know that's something now that's routine and they've developed that relationship with you. So consistency is key and it's a lot of fun. And then never before seen, when you're making your live broadcast, give them a little attention grabbing hook of like, hey, never before seen on my Facebook feed, uh, secret is they've never seen it before because they've never seen that broadcast. So <laughs> you could just kind of play with it a little bit and just be be goofy and be you. I think that this live aspect really it can just give you a little bit more confidence. I don't know what really how to explain that, but it's something about being able to broadcast and then you're hearing back immediately. It's like that video that you sent out and you're wondering, are they gonna take the time to comment? Are they really gonna take the con time to comment? You know, did they care? Did they hear me? But on a live broadcast, they do. I can't tell you how excited people get over those first broadcasts. You'll never get that same engagement as kind of the first few. Um, well, I, I stand corrected. <laughs> I mean, it kind of depends. I think every broadcast you can kind of challenge yourself, like what is gonna be interesting to them? Ask to hear from them. Um, does anybody have any questions about the live content ideas before we move forward? Yes? Would you do it on your personal page or your business page? Both. Mm -hmm. Both. So, when you do the first so, live, so tell me how that would work. So yourself. here's what we've experimented with our clients. Going live on your personal page from what we've seen and the algorithm changes, you have much more engagement. Those are your fans that follow you and love you. Share it on your business page. And then you're cross-promoting it. Now, I have a personal page that's really friends and family and it's got my little boy and I just don't want to share that with the business all the time. Um, so I, I really rarely do go live on my personal page. That's why I made my alias page social with Sarah. That was really my experiment grounds <laughs> to really encourage my clients. Hey, we don't need to go live on your, your, you know, they'd say, no, it's the first one. We'll practice on the social with Sarah page and then we'll go on your page. Ready, set, go. So a lot of my page is all these experiments and mic checks and testing and the lighting and it's really kind of that behind the scenes of setting things up <laughs> it really is it's just a testing ground I have like random a hundred followers that I'm like where did they come from because this was my testing grounds go ahead what? 
as long as you want. As long as you want. Don't ever feel like it's got to be two minutes or ten minutes. Just <coughs> let it go naturally. Um, as people are tuning in, I would never just cut it off because you hit the ten minute mark. They're following you. They're excited. They're asking questions. Um, if it gets to the point where you're like, hey, this is going to be another, you know, I, I got to go, but I'm going to be back. Give them that next step of I'm going to go live again at this date or stay tuned. Um, so When we go live on all of ours, we have some other software that we use. But you can go live on a laptop computer just as easy as you can go live on your phone. Uh, yeah, so and that's the same thing. I'm not sure about LinkedIn or Instagram. I think both of those you have to be on your phone. Uh, but I know Facebook you can do live on your phone. And then you had another question? No, no. No. All right. Uh, and then to, to go back and clarify, uh, what Sarah said is correct. For viewers, it's better to go on your page and then to cross over. Uh, but for the show that I do, I go live on uh, our show page and then I share it from my personal because I'm trying to grow the brand as well. So uh, I'm not really worried about how many people see it, as much as people like seeing it from mine and then following my, my brand page. So there's two different ways that you could do it depending if you're trying to get viewership or trying to build your brand. So does that make sense? Yeah. Of course, of course. Okay. Let's see what's on the next slide. Um, we're going to walk through. Uh, we're gonna wanna, let's show the, OK, so how many of you have seen the Chewbacca mom? So we're going to play for you Chewbacca mom. And she's local. I love that. And so this is a great example. Uh, here, go ahead and pause it for a second. This generated national attention. It was a Facebook Live. It was. It gives me chills. Right when the platform came out, and I was experimenting with Facebook Live, this woman just like crushed it on Facebook Live. So we want to show you this really cute um, Chewbacca mom. We have a mask in, in the office just because of her. Uh, we're fans. So. Oh, start from the beginning. We're going to actually start from the beginning. So what I love about this is she gave it, she was totally by accident wanting to share this with someone, with her fans. And so she's excited. She's building the suspense. The action doesn't really happen until the mid broadcast. So go ahead. Love that. A hundred, 174 million views. Isn't that fun? Isn't that pure joy? Again, it's not about plugging your business, it's being real, it's having a moment. It's live, it's amazing. And how much joy did that just give us in the morning? I just absolutely love that. I mean, I don't know. They share it. So it was shared, shared, shared. So that, yeah. That started off with one share, and then people started watching it, and they shared again and shared again. And that goes back to it doesn't have to be perfect. Like she was sitting in her car, uh, but it was that real connection. She seemed very authentic. And so watching that, you, you loved watching her because she didn't feel like she was trying to sell you something. She wasn't trying to, like, you know, become internet famous. She was having a genuine moment. Uh, now, from that, she's become internet famous and has a whole brand and book and the, that whole thing. But in that moment, she made mistakes. She's like, I don't know. I, yeah, I could be wrong. And then, but she was being a very real and authentic person. And that's why it grew to the, 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 the where it grew. Back there? So, uh, <laughs> like, who do they say? Who's ready to go so, um, I think that it would be fun is, you know, can I have a quick little conversation with the person next to you and say, are you going to go face the line or are you going to face the line? Like, you know, let's, let's put us in pairs and you're going to interview each other or say that you're here at the Plano Chamber. We want to plug the Plano Chamber. You can tag the Plano Chamber. 
let's just have fun with it and experiment with it. You'll be going live to your followers that are just on Facebook right now. You can delete it if you want to delete it back. Okay, we're just going to practice here yeah. and have fun with it. As soon as you get done going live, you hit stop. It'll say keep or delete. You can just hit delete. I'm around to kind of help and, you know, jump in and whatever you guys want to do. But, okay, so pull out your phones. So I'm gonna, I don't want you to leave without understanding how to go live. So quality is so quality not important. <laughs> Facebook Live already. We've got everybody here going Facebook Live. So I'm going to give, um, there's Dallas. And they're all learning how to do Facebook Live. Of course, we thought it would be fun to give them this interactive opportunity. It's one thing to speak to everyone here at the Plano Chamber and a whole other to actually get them to go Facebook Live on their own because we wanted to give them the opportunity to, to test the stuff out. It's, it's one thing to talk about it. It's a whole other thing to actually go live themselves and, and test this thing out. Hey, Judy. Hey, Nick. I think I saw um, Samantha on there earlier. It's great to have you guys joining us this morning. We're having a blast and um, love speaking about Facebook Live. Okay, so I'm gonna walk around and see if anybody needs any help. Hi! Aw, oh, Judy, okay, bye, we'll see you later. We're going live, okay, perfect. Okay, they're learning, they're saying they need some help. They're learning from Josh, let's walk around here. Learning the Facebook Live. We got the longest cord known to ever. Hey! You guys ready to go live? How do you not have the like button? I don't know. Okay, so go to your go to your screen, go to your profile. There you go. Okay, go to post. Great. Yeah, post. And then it will say live video. There you go. All right, there they go. They're about to go live. Yay! Check it out. I love it, y'all. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, she's trying to go live on the iPad. Let's see if we can do that. I didn't address the iPad. Look, they're getting ready. Oh, that's okay. You can ask the question. Ask the question. I'm when I'm hitting live. I'm actually taking a picture of the wall. So I want to turn around. Turn it around. There's a little button over there. It's got that little. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. And it's us. Oh, perfect. There you go. Woo! I'm so excited for you. Okay, perfect. Okay. They're going live. All right, everybody. We will be right back. Hey, guys. We're back. They just went Facebook Live. We had a blast. So now we're going to have some interviews and find out what went down, how much fun they had, and some feedback from our audience. Here, Dallas. Okay, everybody uh, wrap up your lives. Woo! Everybody round of applause! That was awesome! Okay, so now that y'all are official and you have your own show, now you need a giant... This is, this is step two, okay? Giant microphone. You can get these on Amazon. Dallas, you're going to be our demonstrator of a cameraman. Get your cameraman and go interview people and have fun with this. I think that you've got your own TV station now in your pocket. I'd love to hear some feedback from everybody. Um, what was your experience? Let's just kind of go around the room. I want to hear from everybody this morning. So um, starting with both y'all. Um, actually, my, my trepidation with it was I didn't know what to say. You didn't know what to but, say? Yeah. So it was fun though, I enjoyed it. Did you save it? Did you save your broadcast? No, I just deleted it. You deleted it. So yeah. see, see, and that's fine. But, you know, in the event that you want to do this again, you know, uh -huh. you ripped off the Band-Aid and you had fun with it and exactly. there you did it. So high five, great Thank job. You. What did you think, Monica? Um, yeah, I've, I've been very hesitant to um, do the whole like live thing. And so 
I ran out of things to say, but I did have two followers. Yay! Cool. Nice. Friends that I haven't seen. So that's so that's, awesome. That's really kind of fun. So didn't that bring the broadcast to life when you had those followers tune in? Yeah, and it um, made me feel more connected to my friends on, you know, my Instagram page that um, I don't get to see often, and it's more interactive than just like liking. Love, how many of you had followers follow, uh, watching? How many? Yeah, was it that surprising? I saw um, Judy Hoberman was, uh, I, yeah, she was viewing ours and said hi to everybody. So it was like, hi, Judy. She might be back on there. Um, so okay, let's hear from some more. Um, Judy and Sarah. Yes. Question you know. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going back to your Instagram situation with all of the changes that they're making on Instagram and how they've greatly reduced the presence of the business, uh, yeah. uh, not Instagram, on Facebook. Yes. Business Facebook. Uh, that they've slashed us to the bone in Haven't terms they? of who. It's terrible. Is, they uh, want us to pay viewing, for everything. <laughs> who's viewing our our posts and everything? And you know, unless you started with a million followers, maybe a handful are going to be seeing your business post anymore, unless you pay, pay, pay. Yeah. So, is um, is there a way to circumvent that using live? So what I've noticed with, she has a great question. So there's ways that people can subscribe to every time you go live. So every time you go live, say, hey, you know, with the Facebook changes, I just want to make sure that I'm on your radar. Go ahead and subscribe to every time I go live. It's kind of like the YouTube subscribe. You can, uh, they have to go in, but they have to sit, they have to hit in their in their settings, you know, to follow, follow every time you go live. So building that loyal following is what we're kind of after, but in no way can we really control what Facebook's going to do when they're wanting to um, have a pay to play yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. Go I'm ahead. Gonna jump, I'm going to jump in on that because yeah. that is a thing that's bleeding for R. So we have the RNCN, I'm so sorry with the cord, uh, apologize. Uh, we have the RNCM page, which is a business page. And we go live on there every single day. Uh, one of the things is consistency. So if I'm consistently live on that page, Sarah's right, there's a notification button that says, hey, this page is now going live. Uh, I go live every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 12 until 1. And I say, hey, please like, follow, and subscribe. So I'm, hey, would you mind doing that? Uh, throw in a comment. Because if they show that you're interacting, in that feed, people start interacting and they get more, it pushes that up higher and higher and higher. Uh, so we started off, our very first show we did had like 35 views total, uh, which isn't great, um, but that was one of those deals. But now just in the last four or five months of going live every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I think our, our, um, the post was seen by 1,400 people. So when you're going live, are you telling them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? I am. Yeah. And also, when you, so I had gone to a, um, oh, we're, we're still live. I just wanted to give our followers just a little bit more of like, you know, the, in, in the weeds kind of, hey, we're going to talk with everybody. Uh, so hi, Facebook Live. Say hi, everybody. Hi. hi. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'll send that to you guys for the chamber. Okay. So um, I went to the Dallas Digital Summit. And so that's like every year they have kind of the State of the Union. Here's what's going on in digital broadcast. And we geek out like crazy for it. They had said that the Facebook algorithm has changed so much it used to go from what raise of hands what do you think is going to prioritize the algorithm more likes shares or comments raise your hand for likes nobody very smart audience raise your hand for shares it used to be shares it is comments and it is re comments and then it's re comments so it wants people to get this be social they want you to be social on social media. <laughs> so I think that marketers destroy everything in a funny way. Sometimes it's like, hey, share this out. So marketers were getting people to share and share and share and share and share, fake accounts. Now it's graduating people onto, okay, no, 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 Facebook's smart. They're saying no, the comments and then the re-comments and the social interaction. So it's great to hear that that's what's happening because it's very, you don't want to feel like you're being sold to every day, all day for Facebook Live. And they're and looking making, at it. And making comments. As, as on yours? Yeah. Yes. Hey! Yeah, see? Cool. So, so yeah. you're, when you're doing your live broadcast, then you would ask for them to comment? Ask for them to comment. First off, um, what we'll say is, hey, where are you guys tuning in from? Thanks so much for joining us. 
welcome them in as they're coming in. Um, I've heard different things back and forth on, hey, don't disrupt the live and say hi. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Every single time somebody comes on. Um, I'm indifferent. I mean, it's your broadcast. Do what you want. Yeah. So, um, but getting the, the true interaction, um, people play games and trivia just to kind of get them to start commenting. But again, just be honest and true. Don't just try to fight through those comments unless you have some value to give them and you're educating or you want them to join you. It's like bringing everybody to the party and then having the party. Um, so you've had your hand up, go ahead. I did hear this. I did hear this and experiment with that. Um, the time that I heard that things dock you is if somebody unfollows you. Okay. Even the mad face, you know those emojis? Mm -hmm. The algorithm just reads it as an emoji. Like, that's what they had said at Digital Summit. I'm not the data person, but they had said any interaction is a good interaction, which was great. Um, <laughs> don't say anything offensive. I wouldn't, uh, uh, you know, don't make people upset. <coughs> but they don't, you know, if somebody accidentally hits the angry emoji on there, Facebook isn't going to penalize you from what they were saying, uh, what we learned at this Digital Summit. Go ahead. Just a quick question. Be, uh, the, being stagnant, like right now, and walking, walking around and something like that. So something like that you can't walk around with. Correct, so uh, we brought some gear just to kind of show you guys what we've been experimenting with. Um, and Josh, I can, have you used the social light before? So that one is just a nice little stationary. It's when you get tired, if, it's, if you want to cast and have people behind you. I'm uh, a member of the Dallas uh, Junior Chamber of Commerce. And so when we have that ring up, and we're having our happy hours, people get all excited and they're like, oh, Sarah's gonna do the live podcast again today. And I have a line waiting sometimes of people that wanna be interviewed and start plugging their business for the chamber, which is cool. So it's nice to bring it just so people know you're gonna go live. You could have your branding on there, right? Um, just kinda, you know, people kinda get a little nervous if they don't know what you're doing and now you're pulling out your phone. And this is kinda that established, hey, you know, something's going to go here. That one, uh, I got it off of Amazon. I bought like four different ones. Uh, just go to Amazon and type in ring light. I'm not going to endorse anybody, but no. it's, it, you know, it's a ring light. I think um, hair salons will use it, and there's different ones and different filters, and, and they're just cool. I, I like it. That one's a heavier one, I will say. Some of them are lighter. Uh, go ahead. Do you have? I was just going to say on the whole uh, algorithm thing, what I've learned, and I've been a, I'm part of the Here, let's go over here, Josh. She knows. What we've been discussing is with live and videos. Um, Facebook won't really dock you if it's like a live video because it, it can't. It won't it dock do, you it, at it all. Doesn't, it doesn't know. Like the algorithm can't hear your voice. It, it just sees the words. So if you type in please like and share, then it doesn't like yeah. it. But if you just verbally say it, I heard that's okay. Okay. So ah. if you do it, it can't, you know. Say, thank you for your <laughs> yes, comments. Thank you. Or thank you, you for totally, your thoughts. You can totally say anything and it won't talk mm -hmm. you. The algorithms don't affect, I guess, words. I mean, yeah. verbally said it. It's just okay. Like so in what she's saying there, thank you so much for sharing that, Lindsay. Um, so in the caption, you don't need to put like or share, but say it in the Thanks broadcast. Thanks for joining. Make sure you like and share. Um, my little boy will watch those YouTube videos and he'll always say like, leave it in the comments. You know, <laughs> it's like even these kids know that, you know, people, anyways. Uh, any other questions? This is so fun. Back to what you were saying too, the social is light's great, it's big and you have to transport it and stuff. I have a little ring light that clips onto my phone, Ooh. 10 bucks on Amazon. I bought it to play around with my Instagram photos to try to bring better lighting to my Instagram photos. And then you just flip it around and you're able to to do that and it lights up your face a little bit better. I mean, it's not as sophisticated and wonderful as that, but it's a start and then you can also be able to then be mobile. And those are those little clip-on ones are battery powered, so you just plug in a battery. You don't have to have a long cord. And we also had a comment um, on our live video that uh, Judy wasn't able to be heard very well. So that's kind of an idea for me. If you're out in a restaurant or a busy place or a convention hall or something where you're you have a lot of background noise, Something like this would baby be booms. very helpful. Those little boom boxes, you know, like yeah. they have little baby ones that plug into your phone. They have it awesome. for the iPhone and for the Samsung. It's Ooh, just, it's, it's called cute. baby boom. It's a little boom. It's a baby, and it comes in a tiny little. Yeah, they're like little, and you plug it, it in. Because we did some live videos in our kitchen, and 
the, we were trying to focus on the chef, but it was kind of, you could hear other things in the background, but we, we noticed that we finally figured it out that it was able to really help. And then I did one outside when I was playing by a creek. Yeah. And it, there was some background noise, but I. They've got a point. There's nothing. To hold it so we could hear my voice. There's nothing more though. frustrating than right. having a lot of background noise, and you finally went live, you finally did it, and then they kind of can't hear you, and well, then people will turn off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we try to uh, use the microphone. It's just nice to be able to hook it, but really, um, you know, and then you just, right? But it's connected, so then we find ourselves just, you know. But we want the longer microphone. <laughs> Anyways, does anybody have any other questions? Have you guys had fun this morning? Yeah. This has been a blast. I, I don't know how much more time we have. Um, you have a half hour. Oh, wow. Okay. Keep so going. let's keep going. Let's, you know, we, now we've done our live segment. Josh, here, I'm going to give you, yep, yeah, here we go. And then you're going to make this. Part two. Show and tell to announce your broadcast. What I've seen and what I love with the follower, the uh, different broadcasts that I watch, is that they'll post a little graphic and announce when they're going to go live next. Uh, you can make them on Canva. Have you guys heard of Canva? It's this little graphic. Love Canva. Um, Canva. On Canva, you can you can really you look like your own graphic artist, yes. and so if you're you know just take a step further from then posting in your caption, hey, I go live, make a little graphic, have fun with it, take a picture of yourself and put some text over it, and uh, that's what we've done, and so our clients have seen a lot of value in that. There's also what I've seen, and I didn't put this on the slide, is create an event for yourself of when you go live and ask people to subscribe and they'll get notified because you're doing a live event. Have you heard of live events? This is literally a Facebook live event or Instagram or so on and so forth. Um, so what do you guys think about that? Creating a live event. Can you do that on your Facebook page? On your Facebook page. Have you ever made an event where, right, invite somebody to your birthday party or, you know, this one I've seen more and more and you can go live to that event, which is cool. You can li go live just to those people, the 42 that have said that they're going to come and uh, you can w make the event. I, I guess I could show it on here. Um, Facebook page, right? You've got you're in your platform, and then you can make an event. Say that you're going to go live on this day. It'll ask you, is this a reoccurring event? So make sure you reoccur. <laughs> um, but you can do it once and say, hey, on every Wednesday, on every Monday, or just the next one that you're going to do. If you don't want to schedule it out, really, um, I would suggest. I mean, do it. I've seen success doing same day. I mean, you don't need to think of this months in advance or weeks in advance or days in advance. It's like, hey, if you want to notify people that are going to be on Facebook in that period of time, this is going to be so much better to alert those people so they don't have to keep checking back and checking back and checking back. So there's a number of pages that I'm like, when are they going to go live? When are they going to go live? I'm dying. I can't wait to find out the surprise that they're going to open up or whatever, um, some of these different pages that I follow. So uh, yes. Huh? Um, I think that I've seen a couple of different tactics as far as like announcing live and not announcing live. Like it just depends, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but like what your message is going to be, like what you're trying to market to. So like if you're, you know, I know girls just like sell blue bread or sell, you know, something online, they will have like a consistent like every Wednesday I go live at 8 p.m. Yes. You know, <laughs> hey, I will tune into your insurance talk. I think that would be cool. And again, establishing yourself as a thought leader. Have a topic of the day. Talk about other things, what's going on in your life, whatever. Make it a conversation. But I think that, what, what was your question again? It was, so you know. Like the timing. And, and the timing. When sure. you're It is, and also, so I've been asked this question before, on when is the best magical time to go live? Are you ready? What do you think my answer is going to be? Now. When now, it is when you're feeling it. It's when you're feeling that mojo, when you're ready to, like, go live and, you know, be and present in front of people, you know, get your coffee going. Um, regardless, though, even if you're not feeling in the mood, but it's an important message, 
people interacting and tuning in, it's like all of a sudden, ah, they're watching, they're talking to me. I'm having a conversation through live. Now this is a step further that I didn't even think that we would go into with this one, but have you gone live and asked somebody to join your broadcast? No. Okay, so this has been, you've done it. Have you done it successfully? Okay, so I have young boys who want yes. to be YouTube stars. Yes. So they are doing the whole like and share and hit the bell. Yeah. <laughs> At Major Buzz, I love it. Yeah. And it's super thrilling. Uh, but they, we went on vacation and they took my phone and wanted to do Facebook Live. So now they have to be on the But I guess there was a, a thing that comes when people join your live that says bring them on camera with you. Mm -hmm. I, what does that mean? What does it do when you bring yeah. them in? So who wants to test it right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the two people that want to come up, let's test this right now so everybody can see it. So they're gonna go Facebook Live, somebody's gonna go live from their channel, and then someone's gonna watch it, and then we'll walk you through how, how to, yeah. So you just both need your uh, Facebook phones. Love it. Okay, so now they're going to be Facebook Living. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through this. Okay, so who's, who's gonna be the one to go live? Katie? And is Katie, is Sarah following Katie? So you first need to follow Katie. Any personal? Yeah, that's your personal page. Social with Sarah. Bad friend. Let me walk them through this and then I'll show you. Okay, so you're following each other. This is so exciting. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could, you know what we should do, too? I want to be able to. So my friends, did we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> so much room for us. I love it. Okay. Y'all, I love this excitement. Okay, so Josh, you know what would be cool? So then can we follow Katie? We can, we can follow Katie. And then we can watch the stream on the stream and on the stream and on the stream and it's just going to be so cool. Okay. On stream, on stream, on stream, on stream. <laughs> Okay, so they are going. I'm making so many friends. Do y'all So many friends. Everyone. Follow Katie. Katie with the State Farm Katie Insurance. <laughs> Woo, go Katie. Oh. Hi, Donna. So what's interesting, you heard my voice. So there is a delay. So let's say something happens, you can just shut it down real quick, right? So let's say that somebody <laughs> decides to be cheesy and go behind you or whatever, and you just don't want that. You can end your feed immediately and shut it down just for safety, just for anybody who goes live and they're worried about something. Or let's say you're at a school and then there's kids behind you and you've realized, oh, I shouldn't go live. We can go into when to go live and when not to go live, the do's and don'ts. I never have any advice that's more about like, don't go live. Um, more about like what content not to give, but it's more about when maybe you don't go live. And a lot of it's at schools and you know different things that need to be protected and so on and so forth. So it is important if you're gonna go live and it's in a public area that would uh, have other people, just let them know, hey, I'm gonna go live. You know, hey, I'm gonna go live with everybody behind me, is that okay? You know, kind of ask permission. I wouldn't advise the ask forgiveness part. People can get upset, and then you now have these angry people on your live. Yeah, so, <laughs> Dallas for marketing is like, that ah, could be, okay. Okay, are we ready to go live? Okay. Oh, I missed what she was saying. So what Katie's gonna do now is Katie's going to go live. Yay! Okay, now say hi to everyone. Hi, friends. Oh, this is Josh. Do you know him? <laughs> okay, so now I'm we're going to go to your feed. I'm on Katie's feed. You want to be on my feed? And we're talking about going live with social media. Wait for and it. Wait for the heel reason friends. and scroll. Are they good looking? Yeah, there she is. Okay, okay. now click so on it. Copied yeah. up. Click on Katie. Uh, this is my friend Sarah. Yay. And then. She's following me. And you're going to see her in a second. Uh, turn on, do you see that where it says turn on when she goes live? Yes. Now add. Come on in. So, yep. And now go to that little green button. There's a lot of people here. And send requests. Okay, now Katie's getting a notification that says Sarah wants to go live and invite her and say yes. I got this notification. It's right down below here. 
And I'm gonna approve. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's gonna work. Okay, so depending on the stream, okay, it will let you. Here we go. Here we go. She's getting the notification. Hi, friends. Oh, she did it! Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for joining me. So now go to her page. Okay. So. Oh, because you. Here we are. Okay, so now they're. Now they're on a joint broadcast. Okay, yeah, go ahead and go in the hallway. We'll play with this for a second. Go for a hallway, go for a little walk and talk. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm not seeing the current. Oh, here we go. And now you're there. Thank you. Oh, that's me. Yeah. How do I get to where we're at right now? Uh, right there. Right there. And that's me. And that's you. And I'm watching it. They have five followers watching. Four followers. Look, people are commenting. Is that cool? So now this is also a little algorithm deal. Uh, when you go live and somebody's going live with you, now you grab their audience and it gets the algorithm up. And it's a lot of fun to go live with someone else. I can hear my voice again. <laughs> it's a little distracting, but um, isn't that cool? And so here's the pitfalls of this whole scenario is that it's kind of hard to talk through it with somebody who's never done it before. You guys can come back if you want. Um, but it's so cool once you figure it out, practice a couple times if you can with somebody and then you can quickly walk through it. You have to be friends first. And then the person that is watching sends the request. Now I've seen it the other way where when you go live, I can ask somebody else to be on, but it's, I haven't perfected that yet. I mean, I could try it right now. Um, it will show me my viewers, but yeah, the chamber is getting unbelievable here. I love it. Um, does anybody want to try this? Let's just try this right now. Try to simultaneous cast. Yeah. And see if anybody else wants to join us. Okay, so we're going to take a break and you guys join each other. So we've got a whole group Yeah. Round of applause. They did great. And Facebook Live will be back. Awesome.